Hi everyone, welcome to Insight. Today I am going to talk to you about my meeting with uh, Leona Olislev, uh, my MP, regarding uh, the new drone laws and I'll tell you all about uh, the meeting that I had with her. So stay tuned and uh, find out what happened. Okay, so welcome back. Um, first of all, before I begin, I just need to say I'm sorry that uh, I took so long to get this out to you. I've been very busy and this is the earliest opportunity I've had to actually um, do this uh, vlog. Anyway, um, my meeting with Liana Olislev went really well. She was completely on board with uh, the concern of drone flyers uh, regarding the interim uh, regulations uh, passed by Mark Arnault. She was very specific about the fact that she thought rule number two, the 75 meter uh, rule, was completely too restrictive. You know, I mentioned that rule to her and she said that, um, you know, it seems to be a catch-all rule and that there's really no way that you can um, follow that rule without breaking the law. She said that that rule definitely needs to go. She was also very open to making distinctions between different types of airports. She agreed that not all airports are the same. Uh, Pearson is not the same as some little landing uh, pad on, on a piece of grass uh, or a heliport. Uh, so she was uh, very open to the fact that, you know, the distinctions need to be made between airports. She was even open to the possibility of uh, drone flyers being able to call uh, an airport to get approval for flying. Uh, we talked about that a little bit and she mentioned the possibility, I mentioned the possibility and she agreed with me of having a computer based software system uh, where uh, you could call up uh, a computer or you can you can log into a computer and you could request uh, to fly near an airport and you could give the coordinates and then the software basically could get a response out to you immediately as to whether or not you can fly in the area that you um, put in. Basically, her take on it was very simple. She said, look, um, the Americans have already done it. The FAA already has uh, a ruling that seems to work in the United States. So there's no reason why Transport Canada should do things differently. Um, basically, she said, let's photocopy the FAA rulings. There's no need for us to reinvent the wheel. The Americans already did it, and so we can just follow their path. We talked about needing to put personal information on the drone, and I told her that I think it's a uh, an infringement of privacy, and, and that, that there's no way I'm going to put my information on my drone because I think that it's you know it compromises what I think is my private information. Um, in the United States, um, drone users had to register their drone. Now, they don't have to do it anymore because uh, the courts ruled that uh, the FAA did not have the uh, jurisdiction to actually mandate registration. So the courts basically said uh, that people no longer have to register their drones. Um, this is something that uh, happened after my meeting. I suggested that a registration like the one in the States was probably not a bad idea. But I said that um, it should not be expensive, right? It should be like five or ten dollars. Um, now they've basically taken that off the boards in the United States. Uh, people no longer have to register. Um, I think that it's probably not a bad idea that drone users in Canada register their drones as long as you know the price is reasonable. And uh, I said five to ten dollars. She said, "Well, I don't know how much it would cost, but you know." It should not be an exorbitant amount of money. That's the, that's the main thing. It should be a reasonable price. Uh, one of the things she brought up was the need for basic training. Um, she said that one of the reasons why these rules are implemented is because people are doing sometimes stupid things and there's a worry of accidents. So she thought that it would probably be a good idea to make some kind of training um, basic training mandatory and this would basically involve uh, passing uh, a basic test of some sort she suggested 
relating to safety. And um, the taking of the test may be tied to, she said, some kind of a registration number. And I said, okay, that's fine, but how about cost? You know, it's all about cost. We don't want to have to pay hundreds of dollars to be able to fly our, our drones. So she said, no, no, um, you know, I would suggest that it would be free and uh, that it, once you pass the test, you'd have a basic license to fly the drone and um, the test could be online. It would not be a big deal. You answer some questions. So something like that I would be in total agreement with, uh, just to make sure that people have a, an understanding of what is reasonable and safe. Now, um, Leona Alaslev did stress the fact that she is a backbencher. Uh, her position as an MP um, is, is not uh, that of a person who has a major influence. She said she has a small voice and that the changes that she could bring to bear are limited. Now, she used the metaphor. She said, okay, uh, let's uh, consider the idea of inertia. Uh, if you want to think about the government, you can think in terms of uh, inertia. The government basically takes the path of least resistance. It'll just keep on doing what it's doing unless uh, there's some sort of opposition to it. And she said that strong voices like ours, people who are into uh, UAVs and, and drones, uh, that's going to make all the difference. Um, so putting videos on YouTube, uh, uh, starting petitions, sending letters to MPs, going out and visiting MPs, uh, all of those things will make uh, change happen. Uh, she again said, quote, for every action, there should be an equal and opposite reaction. So the interim laws, the laws that the government is going to put in place, well, we need to be the voice of reason. We need to be the opposite reaction. She said that only in this way, the government will listen and will make positive changes that will support uh, the use of drones and will be reasonable. Um, if we are quiet, the government will just pass the regulations as they are. Uh, anyway, we're not quiet. We're loud. We want changes to happen. And, um, you know, this is why we're doing all these things like making videos and, and uh, starting petitions. So that was basically my meeting with uh, Leona Alislev. It went very well. She was very positive. I have to to say, you know, she really did say that uh, the current laws are inadequate, uh, very restrictive, not well thought out. Uh, and uh, she said that they need to be changed and they need to be changed so that uh, drone users can maintain their hobby, have fun without uh, uh, an extra burden to have to worry about, you know, breaking the law every time you go out. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening. And um, please subscribe to my channel and I'll speak to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.